Now let's test some relays. Let's pull out this uh, this tester and um, let's just pull out a, a relay from this fuse box. We have different types of relays. This is a four pin relay. So we can test a four pin relay. And also it will be able to test a five pin relay because they work slightly different because it has an additional circuit. So what are we gonna do here? We're gonna exit from that component section and we come here, scroll to the left and select relay at the bottom, press okay. And based on the type of relay you're testing, uh, once again, this is the voltage that the load is going to receive. You have your terminals 86 and 85. There's your coil windings. Usually, roughly, that resistance will be approximately anywhere from uh, 60 to 100 ohms, depending on uh, your make model. And terminal 30 and 87 on the 4-pin relay, those two terminals are not making contact. So if you want to test the relay, we supply power and ground to terminals 86 and 85. Uh, that coil winding creates a magnetic field and is going to pull the contact uh, internally and connect terminals 30 and 87. That's how this re the 4-pin relay is supposed to work. So in this case, we're going to use an adapter that the tool has. The tool has this adapter with uh, three wires, different colors, and this one uh, gets connected here in the site. And one of the things that you need to consider is that how are we going to plug this in? So actually this tool has this button. Uh, it says up to start the test and it says OK for help. So if you don't know how to connect it, select OK. And it gives you a diagram for a 5-pin relay and I can scroll to the right and this is the 4-pin relay. So with the 4-pin relay, uh, our probe is going to go to your terminal 85, the other lead will be to 86 and your black lead to terminal 30 and red lead to terminal 87. So if we go to our our relay, here's your terminal 87 on the top, 30 at the bottom. That's your switch between the relays, those two contacts, and this is your terminal 86, 85. This is 85 and 86. So according to our diagram, the black lead goes to terminal 30. This is your terminal 30. The red lead goes to terminal 87. And the green lead is not being used for a four pin relay. And then we're gonna uh, connect our, our probe that has our black lead. Remember I told you that this black lead is always connected to ground. So this one is telling me to go to terminal 86. So that goes to terminal 86. And you can always uh, energize terminals 86 and 85. You should be able to hear a relay click. But a clicking relay doesn't really mean that it's a good relay. Uh, you could have some unwanted resistance between the switch between 30 and 87 and that could create a voltage drop. So this tool will actually uh, make sure to see if they are making good contact or not. So on the other end of my probe, I'm gonna come here and touch the terminal 85 and be able to supply uh, voltage. So I'm gonna exit from here, I'm gonna escape. So I could go to the test, then I will touch the probe with 85 and press the button up and it's gonna give you the results. But uh, something to kind of pay attention to, notice that terminal 30 and 87, there is an actual open circuit between them. They're not physically uh, making connection. And if they are making connection, we apply power and ground, you should be able to see it on your pro. So if I press the button up, energizes the relay, it's using 11.6 volts at the load and notice that terminal 30 and 87, you actually have a red line between them indicating that they are connected. If I release it, it's open. 
if I press uh, on again by pressing the button up notice how it shows you terminal 1387 being connected that's how you will be able to check a four pin relay with this tool a six pin relay has an additional circuit as you can see in our diagram here in our tool 86 and 85 are still the coil windings now the difference is that 30 and 87 should make constant connection when uh, I'm sorry with 30 and 87 a should make constant connection with the relay off and terminal 30 and 87 they should be open so as soon as we plug our adapters we should be able to uh, see that terminal 30 and 87 are always connected with the relay off and once we energize the relay it will connect terminal 30 and 87 but it will disconnect 87a from 30. so if we if we're not sure how to plug it in once again we select the button okay for help shows our diagram and here are the numbers as well on the relay 87 30 86 85 87a is, is on the middle so according to this uh, diagram we're going to use 87a goes 87a is right here in the middle that's where you use the green lead the red lead goes to terminal 87 which is here on top and the black lead goes to terminal 30 which is right here in the bottom then we have uh, the same thing 86 and 85 so we're going to use our uh, black lead that has a ground from our tester to terminal 86 so 86 is right here on the side make sure the leads don't touch each other so we'll get a, a bad reading and let's exit from here let's exit the screen and as soon as uh, you get a, a green light right away because you can see right here terminal 87 and 30 are making contact because the relay it's off which is that's normal on a five pin relay if there was no physical contact between 87A and 30, this button, the, the, green, the red button will light up indicating that there's a problem. So it's, it, right now it's checking terminal 87A. So it's telling you that 30 is making contact with 87A. So as uh, we energize this uh, relay with our probe, and if we supply, if voltage by pressing the button up, let me just make sure we we see the screen we press the button up and notice that now 30 and 87 are making contact and 30 and 87 a are no longer making contact as you can see at the bottom now 87 is making contact with 30 if I release it really turns off and it's showing you that terminal 87A is making contact with 30. So if I turn it on again one more time by pressing the button here, up, energizes the relay, and connects terminal 30 and 87. So the tool is actually uh, check, uh, doing a, a test a, from each one of the terminals to verify that they are making contact.